Colonel Pickering, you're just in time for tea. Thank you, Mrs. Higgins. May I introduce Miss Eliza Doolittle? My dear Miss Doolittle, how kind of you to let me come. Delighted, my dear. Lady Boxington. How do you do? How do you do? Lord Boxington. How do you do? How do you do? Mrs. Ainsford Hill, Miss Doolittle. How do you do? How do you do? And Freddie Ainsford Hill. How do you do? How do you do? Miss Doolittle. Good afternoon, Professor Higgins. The first race was very exciting, Miss Doolittle. I'm so sorry that you missed it. Will it rain, do you think? The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. But in Hartford, Hereford and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. <laughs> How awfully funny. <laughs> what is wrong with that young man? I bet I got it right. Smashing. <laughs> suddenly turned chilly. I do hope we won't have any unseasonable cold spells. They bring on so much influenza, and the whole of our family is susceptible to it. My aunt died of influenza, so they said. But it's my belief they done the old woman in. Done her in? Yes, Lord love you. Why should she die of influenza when she come through diphtheria right enough the year before? Fairly blue with it she was. They all thought she was dead, but my father, he kept ladling gin down her throat. Oh. Then she come to so sudden, she bit the bowl off the spoon. <laughs> Dear me. Now, what call would a woman with that strength in her have to die of influenza? And what become of her new straw hat that should have come to me? Somebody pinched it. And what I say is, them as pinched it, done her in. Done her in? Done her in, did you say? Whatever does it mean? <laughs> oh, well, that's the new small talk. Uh, to do somebody in means to kill them. But you surely don't believe your aunt was killed. Do I not? Them she lived with would have killed her for a hat pin, let alone a hat. But it can't have been right for your father to pour spirits down her throat like that. It might have killed her. Not her. Gin was mother's milk to her. Besides, he poured so much down his own throat, he knew the good of it. Do you mean that he drank? Drank, my word, something chronic. <laughs> yeah. What are you sniggering at? It's the new small talk. <laughs> you do it so awfully well. Well, if I was doing it proper, what was you sniggering at? Have I said anything I oughtn't? Oh, no. Oh. Uh, not at all, my dear. Well, that's a mercy, anyhow. I don't know whether there's enough time before the next race to place a bet, but come, my dear. 